Welcome to today's 3D print. I hopefully have here a updated version of the Ender 3 with the changes that Creality has made over the last couple months. If I do, we're going to build it. Alrighty, this is the updated Ender 3. It has all the changes that Creality has made to the printer thus far. So, we have the beefed up Y axis. We have the new electronic brain board inside. I'll post a better picture later, but it's a new smaller board. It actually takes up less space inside the box here, so that is the updated electronics. It has the ABS molded cover for the power supply instead of the printed one, and it has the new 2x2 two two wheel arrangement for the bed. Although that does create a problem. I've discovered that one of my viewers showed me this you'll notice the gap here between this stepper and this brace this um frame the y carriage is pretty tight so when you put the stepper dampers on this you can't it hits the frame here so now the printer can't go back far enough to hit the end stop so the solution to that is i'm just going to take a dremel and take out a little nick out of the y carriage plate right there to make the gap i need but that's something i guess they hadn't anticipated there's plenty of gap there from the factory but not enough once you add the stepper dampers so that'll be an update video coming later for that otherwise very pleased alrighty the first goodie bag had the pitiful sample of filament I really wish they'd go back to that little spool of filament it's really nice um, your y-axis tension pulley your Z limit switch your memory card which has a different memory card in it. it looks like a Lexar card oh it's not they're copying Lexar but it's a, a NetHack whatever that is an eight gigabyte card i do like these little readers they appear to be a lot more reliable than the original these here mm, eight out of ten are bad <laughs> but these appear to be reliable so far and of course your little acupuncture needle for cleaning out your nozzle Alrighty, your tool bag is inside your nippers are inside this is in the next goodie bag that comes with the printer some zip ties, and then this bag contains your end caps, your nuts and bolts, some extra nuts and bolts, and your belt for your X-axis. And the nippers come in a nice little box now, so it keeps you from digging into stuff inside the packaging, which is nice. So we are now going to begin assembly. The first thing I'm going to do is put on the vertical gantry, and we're going to verify whether they've corrected whether these gantries are perpendicular and the proper distance apart. We'll see if they've fixed that. Alrighty, one, the verticals are installed and they are now straight. One flaw on this printer that still exists, sadly, is the right hand vertical is not straight. It is cocked out a tiny bit. So three or four millimeters farther away at the top than at the bottom. And that's because the end of the beam, for whatever reason, is not cut straight. I'm not sure why that's happening at the factory. Um, the solution is very simple, though. I don't use the washers that come with the long bolts that hold the primaries on. So I just stick two of the washers underneath the right hand side right there and then tighten it down, and now it's perfect, the exact right distance across. So we're at the verticals are installed. Um, the washers actually pushed me a little bit past vertical, but that's okay, because when I put the top two bolts in and force this out a little bit, the distance is perfect. As long as the distance between these two verticals is exactly the same, you're good. Um, if you don't have a ruler, I just literally put this here like this, took a Sharpie and marked it, and then I put it up here. And as long as you get the exact same distance with the top brace installed, you're good. Um, when you install this, two bolts holding it on, don't use the washers. These are hardened. You can put a lot of force on them, just don't strip them. But make sure this is fully inserted, and you want to crank these down tight. These two bolts need to be very tight. Just be careful not to strip it. Alrighty, the next issue you have to worry about when you install your X-axis is make sure this is not tight. This should move up and down very freely. And also, very important, is to make sure that these... Are straight it's very easy to install these with a twist if they have a twist this plate won't line up with this arm so just loosen the bolts on the bottom and give them the necessary twist to line them up all right the vertical gantries are installed and the x-axis trolleys are installed and we are ready to go with that the way to tell that this is installed correctly actually you should check this with the um, top installed okay but you put your finger on the coupler back here and you rotate the coupler back and forth like this and you can see the printer moves up and down as it's moving up and down pay attention to that side 
if that side lags behind this side, instead of doing this, if it does this, that's too tight. You need to loosen that. But do this with the top installed, okay? So you rotate this back and forth and make sure that the both sides move together. If they move together freely, you're good. If they don't move together freely, you'll never get the bed level. The bed level will change every time you print. All right, top brace is installed. I verified this moves nice and freely with no shifting back and forth as this moves up and down. This moves nice and freely. Mine was actually too tight. I had to loosen it. I installed the screen. I'm now going to check the wheel tightness on the bed and see how that goes. X-belt is installed. I suggest installing the belt before you install the tensioner. It's a lot easier because you have plenty of slack. These just pop right in. Make sure the belt is on top with these nubs coming down and not the other way around because otherwise you're changing the pull angle on the belt and you don't want that. Um, then you install that. Make sure those hammer nuts turn. If those hammer nuts don't turn, that will loosen over time. Alrighty, we are finished assembly. All the motors are plugged in. Everything moves as it should. Cap the cap um, bone tube is installed. Um, I still have to, of course, adjust the bed and the z-axis limit switch which we will play with next and we're ready for first power up and bed leveling so i figured we do the plastic porn here we go oh yeah there's the plastic for you guys <laughs> well, here you go there is the marvin absolutely beautiful print that is truly a phenomenal print and then i printed 3D Printing Professor's Low Poly Dyno, another excellent print. I didn't even optimize this. And then I said, let's go. 1.2 millimeter nozzle at 0.8 millimeter layer height on the Ender 3. And it tanned out beautifully. Beautifully. You can see little perturbations because I was running it a little faster than it was comfortable with at 1.2 millimeters. But beautiful. Look at the size of them layers. Yeah. So now I am using the Zyru Shining Black, kind of like a poor man's filament and vertical galaxy with a little more bling, a little less class. It's not quite as smooth as a vertical galaxy. It's here, that's got nice fine sparkles. Well, this is big chunky sparkles. But again, this is going to be a carabiner at 1.2 millimeter layer height on the new Ender 3. As a recap, reinforced, um, better quality um, tensioner idler pulley. Upgraded electronics, no smoothers needed. The um, the print quality is absolutely phenomenal. Not one little shred of salmon skin. Absolutely beautiful. Um, ABS cover on the back there and the wheels, the 2x2 two two arrangement instead of the tilted rhombus arrangement. They fixed pretty much everything. Um, I did still have to adjust the vertical gantry. It was tilted. So two, two washers underneath the corner and that was enough to take care of that. Otherwise beautiful i am very very pleased you guys have a great day my patreon and paypal links are down below links for the printer are down below this is still in my opinion the absolute best bang for the buck you can get in 3d printing you can't buy more printer for that price anywhere else it really is pretty impressive <laughs> there's going to be a big shake up in the 3d printer market when this thing really takes off so that'll be interesting to see how the other manufacturers respond you guys have a great night